Today we're at William Carey University with Chatham Kemp and she's one of the professors here. So, Ms. Chatham, how did you get started in art? Um, I grew up knee high to an easel. My mother is a landscape painter and my dad teaches drawing and painting at USM. Now I teach here at Carey. Drawing and painting has really been my specialty. Um, I figured out as a child when I lived abroad that my life was pretty empty without art in it. I'd always had paintings and drawings and visiting artists in the house as a little girl growing up. And so really this just became my life because it's, it's always been my life. The most natural thing for me is to talk about drawing and paintings with my students. I feel very comfortable around artists because I've spent my life with them. Um, I got my MFA at Indiana University when I was 27 years old and then I started at Cary, so I've been here for about 12 years. Awesome, so you participate in a few shows a year, including the one that we're at right now. I do about at least six to eight shows a year. Um, not always solo shows, very often they're group shows or shows in galleries. Um, I have a gallery in Jackson, uh, Brown's Fine Art. I also have a gallery in Louisiana called Contemporan. I show at Southside Gallery in Oxford, so there are lots of different venues. I have a gallery in North Carolina. Um, so my work is really all over the state and around you know, the Southeast. Wow, that's a really eclectic group of like galleries and stuff. What do you think about um, modern art today? Um, well, I love abstract painting, obviously. Um, this painting is really about my friend's greenhouse. It's called Sweetwater Greenhouse. And so I take ideas that I learned about design and abstraction and I try to apply them to things in my life. And so for me, um, you know, being sort of a descendant of modern art, you know, we all stand in the great shadow that is Picasso and Matisse. Um, I think it's important that the ideas and concepts that we learn about in school also become very personal and they become a part of our world. And so this painting is, um, it, it came from really being at my friend, my dear friend Kim Witt, um, whose paintings actually are over here. Um, from being at her greenhouse on her property, I would go and draw and swim. The greenhouse has this beautiful pool in the bottom and all the plants hang over the pool. And, you know, just this very casual kind of experience became sort of synthesized in my studio and became a body of work. And in June, I'm going to Hawaii to study tropical plants. And there's an artist from California who has generously offered me her studio for a month. And so really one experience leads to another experience. And um, you know, your world can really collide very often if you just kind of see where the art wants to go and be a part of it. Do you have any advice for people who are interested in art but haven't really started yet? I would say go hang around at galleries, go to openings, um, sit in on a critique at a local university, go find people who are like-minded and enjoy their company. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. It's fantastic seeing your art. Thanks, Tessa. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another art video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.